Um, hello and welcome to part three, four, three of the uh, unavowed a video game I don't really remember. We. <laughs> oh, wait. That's right. Okay, so last time we got a few new party members and then the Shadow Realm. That's right. Yeah, let's load game. Maybe that'll help me remember. We met uh, KK, IRL. Ah, oh, geez. <laughs> this is the music. I'm gonna walk outside and hopefully nothing happens other than the music going to be less weird. Uh. <laughs> How's the music here? Oh, this music's way better, right? <clears throat> All right, so last time on Unavowed, we were attacked by a tree and we lost the old genie guy. He died, and so then we had to figure out where to go next. And we were given three options for some reason. Why did we get three options? There was three different areas we could go to. Did we read like a book or something? What was our reasoning for coming here? <laughs> I honestly don't remember. The places, the demon... Oh yeah, we found out his name. And because we found out his name, the fire guy was able to trace back his location. And then we went to the bar. And we, when we got to the bar, we found his secret hideout. And we got a list of three locations that we could go to. And so the first one we went to is uh, Chinatown, I guess, maybe. Is that where we are? And now we're trying to solve the mystery of some guy being in jail who supposedly killed his parents. I forgot his name though. Frederick? Oh, this was the, the pages, yeah. Pocket Realm. Gotta stop the unavowed. All right. Um, so in the Shadow Realm, we... we got uh to make a wish or something and the dragon there was like mad she's pissed off because she's still there and so now we have to try and appease the dragon yep yep what do you think we should do now actually let's it's ask funny. him this when I was a kid, we were always told that Chinatown was this violent, crime-ridden place. What? It was total bunk. Statistics show that there was no safer place in New York than right here. Uh, Even back in the 1940s. Bigots. People like their myths, I guess. Yeah, it's, you know, people are just a bunch of bigots. <laughs> uh, I guess we're busting Kevin Huang out of the tombs, huh? Oh yeah, Kevin. Alright, so Kevin had, um... Uh... You got it. Gotten framed, I guess, maybe, for something. Hey, what can we do for you? Hey, what can we do for you? This area? Gosh, last time I was around here, I'd only just got sober. Found myself wandering around, getting lost, going to places where nobody spoke English. That's one great Same. thing about this neighborhood. Go deep enough and you can pretend you're in another country, far away. Ended up finding a temple with a meeting in the basement. I didn't understand a single word of it, but it didn't matter. For those 90 minutes, I didn't drink, and that was enough. Dang. Touching that pot brought you back. What would happen if you touched it again? We'll be here if you need us. Let's go back. Talk to KK again. What's up? What's up? Obviously, we need to spring Kevin out of jail. Right, Logan? He says yes. Well, he didn't say yes, but he meant yes. You totally did. Mm. <sighs> He's impossible. Heckin' impossible. 
How come Logan can't see me? Maybe it's because Logan can only see ghosts and you're not a ghost. Guess that proves you're not actually dead. Nice, I'm not actually dead. Okay. Alright, so now we gotta go. And you're back. Wait, I have an idea. We're gonna go spring Kevin out of jail, right? How far out can I go? I just go outside. Oh jeez. Yeah, bad idea. Back inside. Well, that answers that question. How do you uh is it right click? Yeah. <laughs> At least I made an attempt. And you're back. And I'm back. Have we gotten this question before? Were you and Kalash close? Kalash? No, not really. Oh, Although yeah, the I old guy. You owe him everything. You owe him? Yeah. When I came into my power, he saved my sanity. Probably my life. He didn't seem the nurturing type. No, he wasn't. He was impossible. Never met me halfway. Never gave me an inch. <laughs> fluffy, fluffy yes. butt bun. Exactly what I needed. Sounds like my old sponsor. Sometimes you get lucky. Hmm. Yeah. Lucky. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey again. Kevin is kind of sedated right now. Your visit kind of riled him. Maybe later? Really? Was Kevin right? Did you do it? Jesus, the look on your face. I'm joking. Kevin's been saying all sorts of crazy stuff since he's got here. Besides, it's pretty open and shut. I see. I really think Kevin is innocent. That's up to the judge to decide. But from what I can see, it's open and shut. What does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, see you. Watch this. Pajo! <laughs> <laughs> that guard is totally freaking out. <laughs> really, I'm a genius. Logan, you look tired. Could you try not to piss off the cop? How about you and Eli just wait outside? We'll take it from here. Dude, we'll be fine. I'll take care of him. Don't worry. I mean, I take care of you, don't I? Mm. Logan's such a baby. I don't know what he'd do without me. <laughs> Let's go back. Forget again. Can I just walk right through the door? She can't hear or see you. Remember? Hmm. What's up? So, touching shiny stuff makes you shift between the physical world and the spiritual world? Good. Mirrors. How do they work? So, good. To okay. All right. There's a door, a mirror, and the exit. Can I go out this exit? Is it safe here? Uh, you forgot again, didn't ya? God dang it, KK, open the door. <laughs> Woo! It's jailbreak time! Just like in Jail of the Gothenites! The troll quest, the Gothenites are held prisoner in the Wittigan mine? Oh. Never mind. Oh. Um, hi. God damn. Hey, okay, let me in the bathroom. This is when Logan usually tells me to close my eyes. I don't do it, but still. 
You think this guy's naked? Don't be naked. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just got off ship. I'm just waiting for the rain to ease up a bit. Hello again. Hello again. Seriously? <laughs> and I thought Logan was weird. Uh-huh. But there's gotta be a puzzle here. Yeah, I just got off ship. I'm just waiting for the rain to ease up a bit. It's about time. Wait. Uh -huh. That's not how it happened. We gotta distract the guard. Wait. Hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's about time. Let's go. The pants are the key. Yeah. <laughs> Remember? I want him. I want the uh cup. He can't see. Hey, Mantel's a gun. Can't believe he missed all of trivia. Can Kevin see us? Oh come <laughs> Shut up, KK. Ah oh, man. Guy, he looks miserable. Quick, touch that mirror and scare the crap out of him. <laughs> this is how I die. Ah, what the hell? How did you? Don't scream. <laughs> Why? So you can finish the job? You know what? Go right ahead. My life is over anyway. I don't even care anymore. For the last time, I'm here to help. Why should I believe anything you say? The damage is done. I can't sleep. The dragon haunts my dreams. It screams! And won't leave me alone. Not now. Not ever. Dragon is hungry. And hurting. There's no food for it to eat. It will only get hungrier and hungrier and never die. Dang. It's agony. And That's how I feel sometimes. Worse. But I can't do anything. Not from in here. Have you ever heard of the <laughs> jail of the Cavanites? You mean the prison break quest from Trollgate? Are you serious? <laughs> yes. You're serious, aren't you? You put me in here, and now you want to break me out? Possessed. I'm not sure I understand. But maybe I don't need to. Look, if you can get me out of here, help me send the dragon back home, end these nightmares, then fine. Do whatever you have to. Is there a key? Can you tell me about the dragon? My grandfather always said that the dragon Gotta was get our eaten. family's blessing. It would help us through hard times if we needed it. We could call upon it once every decade or so. Any more than that, if we were greedy, it would become a curse. But we were never greedy. We did everything we were supposed to. The dragon never cursed us. No, we were cursed by you. What is worth it? I didn't kill your family. Someone else did. I saw you. You shot them like it was nothing. Then you looked right at me. Those eyes. They're the last thing I remember before everything went fuzzy. I honestly don't know what to believe, but your eyes, they aren't the same. So I'm going to trust you for now. My eyes were different. Yeah, cold, cruel, kind of distant. You looked at me like I was nothing, 
I've been trying to forget about it. Is there a key to this cell anywhere? The guard down the hall has a key to the cell. He's opened it a few times. But I couldn't tell you how to get it away from him. Wait, so how come this guy can't just touch the mirror and go through the wall? <laughs> Didn't he also dream the dream? Leland, he's an asshole. Whatever you do to him, he'll have it coming. Believe me. You mean, distract him? Sure, I can do that. I mean, I think I can. The guy doesn't need much of an excuse to be an asshole to me. I might as well give him one. All right. Okay. You ready to go? Okay, okay. <laughs> Why do they sound so angry all the time? See, I'm gonna need some WD-40, which I think is copyrighted. Uh, dirty rag, and and spray down this door and this bucket. What are you doing? If there's any other exits here, I didn't even try. You're not like Logan at all. He'd be blushing like crazy right now. She can't hear you. My God. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Use the I WD. Use the WD forty. All right, time to terrify this person. Jeez. Um, maybe you shouldn't do that. Freaking out that police officer probably isn't a good idea. That's what I was thinking. How do we get past her though? Is this... You can't touch... God dang it. <laughs> Rusty metal locker door. Can I throw the rag over? I don't think that's gonna... <laughs> Just walk right in. Ma'am. Does it smell really bad in here? I bet it smells really bad in here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I... All right, time to just walk right in. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down. Open this up. And take this shirt. And walk right back outside. <laughs> uh -huh. It was that easy. I'm just gonna take these pants. Who the hell are you? Up, oh, that's not how it happened. Just go ahead and put this on. Can I steal it in the other world? It's about time. Let's go. Let's take these pants. Good oh my god. <laughs> can't can't yeah. take these pants. Uh-huh. 
They probably made two separate solutions yeah. or various set. I mean, this may not even be a thing when you play female. For all I know, they could have made a bunch of different solutions for this puzzle. Look, kid, if it's too hot in there, maybe try sleeping without the blanket. No, that's not what I meant. I, I mean, it's too cold. Too cold. Um, yeah? You said it was too hot. Who the hell are you? That's not how it happened. Hmm. That's not how it happened. Hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just got off shift. I'm just waiting for the rain to ease up a bit. Well, new shoes, you know? My car is parked 10 blocks away. Sure, I'll pick some up. It's on the way. Kinda. Hmm. Does Dara still want this one? Boo! Ah! Yeah. Shut up. Take it. to do. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Power Look, wash dad or days. Maybe try sleeping without the blanket. No, that's not what I meant. I, I mean, it's too cold. Too cold. You know what, kid? I'm done. You can freeze, or sweat, or both. It's not my problem. <laughs> oh, he's dead. That's it. Quick, unlock the door. Then how are we gonna get you out of here? That's it. I already opened the cell door. That's it. That's it. You did it. So what now? We sneak out. Um, no, I can't disappear like you can. Look at what I'm wearing. I can't just walk out of here dressed like this. Can you get me some new clothes? Anything will work. Anything but this ugly orange prison uniform. Come on, Kevin. Mm. Mm. I'm not going anywhere. Right. It's a bit small, but it should do fine. Thanks. Still need to do something about these pads, though. Oh, your pants. Uh-huh. 
It's about time. Let's go. What's up? Those pants in the men's locker room look like they'd fit Kevin. Let's nap them. But how? Okay. All right. All right. No, I was gonna say something. And I thought Logan. I don't think that's gonna. And I thought Logan. Um. Uh... I God. <laughs> Me too, KK. -uh. Alright, so everything is self-contained. Oh, he's back. Music reminds me of Valkyrie Profile. Did I say evil smelling mob? <laughs> I see. Perfect. Thanks. I still need a proper pair of pants, though. Pants. Give them to me. At that time, we had to get somebody's pants in Broken Sword 3. I think about that all the time. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just got off ship. Who the hell? Hmm. I tried this already. There we go. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I thought I had. Oh, I am not getting blamed for this. And there's so many like pixels <laughs> sometimes it feels like. There's too many pixels. It's too high quality. Remember back in the day when it was only 320 by 240? And then you only had 322 by 240 pixels to search. Now I've got 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. That's like 5 billion times as many pixels. By 3 pixels. You only had to search like 12 pixels, and now's that. Um, did I not pick up the pants? I swear I picked up the pants. Oh, there they are. <laughs> God dang, it's pixels. <laughs> okay, those are kind of my size. That should work. Okay. I think that's everything I need. Could you, um, turn around for a sec? Okay, give me a minute. Okay, here I go. 
And, um, thanks. I guess. Alright, good luck. This is totally gonna work. Totally gonna work. You too, Randy? Yeah. Took it right off the bench. I was only gone for a few minutes. They took it right out of my locker. Who the hell does that? Me? Are you sure nothing of yours is missing, son? Not that I know of. Huh. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> that easy. Let's use the women's room. <laughs> Never got to use this one before. Hello again. Hello. What do I do with this key? Got KK's fingerprints all over it. Alright. You can't stop when she... Huh. Looks like the power's wearing off. It's been fun. Bye. See ya. Bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> ah. Jesus, KK. Don't do that. Everything go okay in there? Dried one cop and sold clothes from two more. <laughs> well, you had to do what you had to do. Anyway, Eli went with Kevin to the restaurant. We should meet him there. I, that was fun. She uh just stuck her tongue out of you. Wow, thanks. Anyway, right behind you. <laughs> I'm ready to join her troll something guild. Trollbane? What was the name of the game? Hey, let's take the direct route, okay? Probably a good idea not to stick around any longer than we have to. What is the direct route? Oh, this restaurant. Troll gate. Ah, good. You're back. So, is the dragon gone? Um, not yet. I was hoping you could come with me. I don't want to face it alone. We'll face it with you. Thank you. In my I'm case, there for the, the dragon for you. Is so angry. In all my dad's stories, it was never angry. I'm scared. Anyway, I'll meet you on the roof. A ribbon and tea? No, that's only to summon it. To send it away, I just need to be near the tree. On the roof. Good thing, too. That tea is disgusting. Oh. Anyway, I'll meet you up there. I thought it was great. Let's get moving, then. Let's... Kevin said he was on the roof? We shouldn't keep him waiting. Kevin? Something wrong? What happens... After, do I go back to jail? Go on the run? Join we'll the dragon. Let that happen. We'll put a veil on you. It will disguise your identity. Oh, that's good. I guess. Kevin. Yeah. Sorry, I was just remembering. My mom was always making me study cookbooks, making me memorize old family recipes. And my dad would drill me in the kitchen. He'll always hate that stuff as a kid. But right now, I miss it. More than anything. He's gonna stab me. Uh, Eli, I'm gonna get stabbed. Let's get moving then. Kevin said he was on the roof. Kevin He's gonna stab me Kevin though. Kevin said he was on the roof. Or did the dragon eat me? He's remembering it. He's remembering yeah, his family. Well, I've barely slept. And I, he blames me. And I have not eaten. I wish to he hates home. me. I ruined his life. Oh. I am waiting, Kevin Huang. Fulfill your family duty. Not yet. I want something. Another winning lottery number. Dude, come on. 
You overstep yourself, Kevin Huang. And none of the usual five-figure stuff either. I'm talking the Mega Million Jackpot. What are you doing? Creature has suffered enough. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I don't care. We have your original lottery ticket, Kevin. Your winning lottery ticket. It's not enough. It's not nearly enough. It's 50 grand. Don't get greedy. Yeah, man. That's more than enough to start a new life. I don't want a new life. This restaurant belongs to my family. It should stay in my family. The bank repossessed this place. I need to buy it back before someone else does. 50,000 won't cut it. Do this for me, dragon. Do this, and I will burn the banana tree. Nobody will ever summon you again. Ooh, huh? Let's think for a minute here. Or it gives me the hidden fourth, fifth, uh, fourth option. Uh, how do I feel about what he's doing? I, he, so the problem here is he's still wanted. He still has nothing to prove that he isn't the killer. So what is actually getting, what is the money actually going to give him? But I mean, it's also my fault. I mean, not directly my fault, but you know. I think he should just let the dragon go. That's what I'm going with. Please, you must. The effort involved. Yeah, Claude. It might kill me. It might, but might not. Please, Kevin Huang, let me go. Ooh, Al's right. This isn't right, and you know it. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hearing ethical advice from the person who murdered my family? Mm, he's going to send me. Took it all away. You can help me get it back. You owe this to me. We've been over this. Doesn't matter. It still happened. They're still dead. I'm still accused of killing them. You said the unavowed helps people. So maybe help me now and back me up on this? Um, why is this restaurant so important? Because it's been in my family for four generations. It stood for almost a century. Yeah, well, it's I'm four generations. That end. Not while I can still do something about it. So how about it, dragon? Give me a winning set of numbers and I'll send you home forever. The restaurant, Kevin. Oh, here we go. Forget restaurants, Kevin. Join the unavowed instead. This is probably the wrong answer. Probably should say we won't let you do this, Kevin. But I'm going to hit this one anyways. Even though he hates us. Mm, I know this is the air quotes like wrong answer, but I'm really curious what this says anyways. What? Join you guys? You're an ideal candidate, Kevin. You've experienced the supernatural. You need a new direction in life. And I'd have to work with him? The one who shot my parents? He didn't. Yeah, yeah, I know. Possession. But I'd still have to look at him all day. Every day. I don't think I could do that. I'm sorry. For what it's worth, he shot my brother. I was able to forgive him. Well, <laughs> you're a better person than me. Well then... Won't let you do this, Kevin. And how are you going to do that? It's not like you can stop me. Only I have the power to send the dragon back. And only we have the power to veil you. He's probably... This is... He's... <laughs> this, everything seems wrong. Wait, what? You just let the cops throw me back in jail? You can't. That's not right. I didn't do anything. Neither did this no, dragon. You haven't. Please, please... Some corporate chain is going to buy this place. They'll destroy it. Turn it into a plastic boutique or a condo. My family would have died for nothing. You can't let that happen. Please, don't do this. Hmm. <laughs> wow. 
Well, I, I just now understood what you meant. Uh... Any thoughts on this, Logan? I think the Huang family's been relying on this magic dragon for long enough. Whichever way this goes, that needs to end. I see. Eli, what do you think? What do I think? I think Kevin got dealt a raw deal. I also think that dragon tried to eat you earlier. It's hard <laughs> to know which way to go, but whatever you choose, I'll back you up. Only what's-her-face was here. Sorry, Kevin. Let the dragon go. Okay. Okay. Kevin Huang? I am still waiting. You can go. I release you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry. I had to try. You understand? For mom and dad. I understand. Family is important, but this isn't the way. Yeah, you're right. I get that. I always did like this view. Oh, so bye, like Kevin. Forever. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, I thought he was going to jump. Yeah, we saved the dragon and got an achievement. Dragon Savior. Just like in World of Warcraft. <laughs> I had no faith in Kevin. <laughs> I mean, my faith was in Kevin jumping. Kevin's word complete. I think you mean Dragonfly? World of Warcraft did it first. Kid, move. I just want to get a bit of target practice in. I don't see what the big deal is. I can't shoot the target with KK in front of it. I might hit her. She's a ghost. You know, bullets just go through her, right? Yeah, but it's still weird. If it doesn't bother her, I don't see why it should bother you. Why is she so keen to be shot at anyway? <laughs> she says if you're it's a ghost, fun. If you were a ghost, would you do this uh, kind fun. of stuff? Different things are fun when you're dead. Hey, how's it going? Hey, KK couldn't stop talking about your little jailbreak last night. Especially the part where you were sneaking around the women's locker room. Hey, I ain't judging. What? You did what had to be done. I was stealing a shirt. What's going on in here? Oh, KK's just messing with Vicky. That's all. I'd stop her, but it's not like I can make KK do anything. Plus, it's nice to see KK mess with someone else for a change. <laughs> Any thoughts on that last mission? Kevin made his choice, and so did you. He'll be fine. $50,000 buys a lot of fine. Not in today's economy. Sure, we'll chat later. So, dragons exist. One day, I might have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a freaking dragon? I see why Mandana was always training so hard. Speaking of Mandana, she's kind of taking a break today. She's in the study, so we're giving her some space. Mm. Anyway, what's going on? What's going on in here? Oh, Mandana said I could use that target for practice. I was thinking of all the bad guys we've seen so far. I figured I should brush up. Training here would be easier than the ranges I usually go to. Too many cops asking me awkward questions. Of course, they also have fewer ghost kids trying to psych me out. So, you know, six of one. <laughs> Speaking of breath of fire, happy birthday. Breath of Fire 5. That's all I see all over Twitter this entire last week. I think that was this last week. I saw a lot of that this last week. Yeah. I kind of get where Kevin was coming from. Heck, cop family going back a century here. It's who we are. And being the broken link in that chain, it hurts. Hurts like hell. It's like a hundred years of Santina's are cursing me. So Kevin is angry and bitter. <laughs> he might not get over it anytime soon, but he'll be okay eventually. I have Dream Beam muted. So the only time I see anything he has to say is when I actually go to direct. I remember, occasionally I remember he exists. So I go check out his Twitter page. I'll read like three posts. 
get really frustrated at something he posts, <laughs> and then just go back to forgetting he exists. I kind of get where Kevin was coming from, and be so right. Anyways. Green Bim's a good friend. <laughs> oh, I try to ignore him most of the time. Sorry, I was a bit distracted. What's on your mind? Let's see. Is Mondana doing okay? Yeah, she's hanging in there, just as I am. Any thoughts on her last mission? You know, my kids were around Kevin's age when I left them. They turned out okay, but they at least had each other. Poor Kevin has nobody. Either way, he seems like a smart young man. I'm sure he'll figure it out. Right. See you around. Grandparents PS1. <laughs> Suddenly, uh, like, you can feel the Grim Reaper sitting next to you. Eli told me much of what transpired last night. The veil placed on Kevin should hold for at least ten years. By then, the police will have long since given up searching for him. I see. Any thoughts on last mission? I am not without sympathy for Kevin's plight, having recently lost a parent myself. But torturing and potentially murdering that innocent creature was a step too far. It was the right choice to refuse him. Of course. I admit that it has been difficult, but I am managing. Hunting this demon helps. Eli told me that it gets easier, but never quite gets better. Perhaps he thought that was reassuring. All right then, should we start a meeting? Yes. Eli said he had some information to share. It is time he did so. You look kind of tired, Eli. You okay? I'm fine. Too much fire beating. Takes a lot out of you. Anyway, information about Melkaressa was carefully guarded. Even with fire beating, all I found were fragments. But I did learn a few things. Ooh. Don't keep us in suspense. Yeah. What are we dealing with here? You said yesterday that it had something to do with knowledge? Yes. Quite literally. From the bits I was able to pick up, the name Melkaressa is synonymous with knowledge. What does that mean? It knows things? What kind of things? Uh, it was Galene, Galene, Galene. I don't even remember who this says. Indeed, it knew just where to strike and who to strike against again and again. Only a creature with immense reserves of knowledge could achieve this. Hmm. It appears to know more than we do for certain. It has a decisive advantage. Knowledge is power? My dad used to say that all the time. A trite phrase, but in this instance, quite true. I assume, wait. This uh, my theory so far is that it, it let itself be exercised as part of its grand plan. You're right. It should have known we were there. Should have known how to avoid us or stop us. You really think so? I mean, I've taken a few boxing lessons at the gym, but I wouldn't last two seconds in a real ring. Knowing things isn't the same as understanding them. Truly spoken. This Melkaressa is not all-knowing, nor all-powerful. It is important to remember this. Hmm. I don't know. I only found accounts of people who used Melkaressa for information. Nothing about Melkaressa itself. I guess when we find it, we can ask it. How do we stop it? I don't really know. In the texts I read, nobody ever mentioned being possessed by Melkaressa. They just talked to it. Talk to it? Yeah. They'd summon it, then ask it questions. Usually about dark magic or how to defeat an enemy. 
And they had to pay in blood. Lots of it. People would die every single time. But Melkaressa was always correct every single time. I see, yeah? Nobody was possessed before me? I didn't say that. I said there was no record of it. So maybe you're not the first. Let's get back out there. <laughs> Maybe, Claude. Yeah, lead the way. My Metro card's getting cold. Hey, we're ready when you are. Hey. We getting out there or what? The hour grows late and the trail grows cold. Let us be off. Anytime you're ready. Really like Logan's VA. We're ready when you are. He's very calming. All right, who are we taking with us? Gotta take one of these two, or both of these two. Any girl. And? Nikki or Logan? Hmm. Have we had these two together? In a party yet? Are they BFFs? <laughs> they seem like they're both ready to throw down. These are our two physical attackers. And these are our two mages. Girl squad. Alright, are we going to Hoyt Sh Shimmerhorn? Or Bowling Green? Where's Blackie? He knows New York. Any New Yorkers out there in chat? Do we go to Brooklyn or Wall Street? Wall Street for last? I'm in the middle of asking Blackie. <laughs> Very calming battle on the big bridge. Hardest difficulty in the new theater rhythm for PlayStation 4. I mean, Nintendo Switch. Alright, Blucky's not answering, so let's go to Brooklyn. Let's save and then go to Brooklyn. these graffiti tags 20 years ago my dad would have arrested a guy for putting this stuff up times change no kidding that now Patrick authentic urban culture made by real artists I find them pleasing tell that to the shop owner who has to pay the cleaning bill I think that might be Patrick. Blackie says to go to Brooklyn, so we picked the better. We picked Blackie's option as well. <laughs> you hope that's a thumb. Around the corner. I thought that said poetry, Satan. <laughs> Down this street, we got poetry and Satan. That's not what it said. A bagel shop? Let's talk to the old man first. Good evening to you. You folks seem to be lost. Maybe I can help. Makes you think we're lost. Maybe we could use some help. I knew it. You're walking the streets in the rain, and yet you stop to talk to an old man at the side of the road. Nobody with a destination in mind would do that. That was 
well deduced. <laughs> wow. No, I just read people. It's the old artist in me, I suppose. I know this guy's VA. Nice to meet you. I am Helmet. Pleasure. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm Stanley Bates. One day I'll replay Wild Arms too. Me? Oh, I was a painter. A past tense, I'm afraid. My muse has long since left me. So now I sit here and talk to fine folks like you. Huh. Can you help us find a ration? I'm just an old artist watching the world go by. I doubt I'd be any help to you. But if you'd like to stop a while and talk, I wouldn't say no. For you, perhaps. I'm quite cozy here. And you meet the most interesting people in the rain. True. Folks like yourself, for example. True. Going to the bagel shop. Do I remember the bagelry? Got some wet ones here, Chipman. Huh? Oh, hey. Welcome and stuff. Jesus, Chipman. Wasn't for me, you wouldn't sell anything. Mm-hmm. Evening, folks. Hey. Hey, Diego. Diego. Holy crap, Vicky. How the hell are you? I'm doing okay. Hanging in there. I hear ya. Is this weather? Screws with your mood. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. This place is really colorful. Well, technically, I know her big brother. Hey, how is Mitch doing these days? He wants a rematch, is all I know. <laughs> he wishes. That skee-ball prize <laughs> is mine. I see. <sighs> I know. Chipman's got the art bug. Guess you gotta know your market. The food's still the best, though. Can't argue with quality. I just wish yeah. he'd, you know, focus. Mm. Best in the city. Try him. Seriously. Chipman's an artist. A real one. Rainbows or no rainbows. Not that anyone would know it. The guy knows nothing about promoting himself. I see. Yeah. I don't remember the last time I had a bagel. Stay dry out there. Definitely been a few years. I'll let you do the talking. But I wanted you to do the talking. Huh? Oh, oh, hey, you want something? I'm kind of busy. Um. You okay? You look kind of tired. I'm fine. Why does everybody keep asking me that? Hey, Chip, <laughs> you got paying customers. You want to stay open or what? Fine, fine, fine. Sorry. I swear to God, you'd be on the street if it weren't for me. I get it. Yeesh. Anyway, what can I do for you guys? Ooh, discount baked goods. I don't remember the last time I had discount baked goods either. I'll take a rainbow bagel. Sure, here you go. That'll be five dollars. Five dollars? Just eat it slow, okay? And think about it while you eat it. <laughs> sure. Sure. Bye. All right. Thanks. Bye. Brooklyn's got one thing over Staten Island. Our bagels suck. <laughs> Maybe I should tell my brother Mitch about this place. He'd love it. You know, assuming the guy ever returns my calls again. <sighs> All right, well, Mondana, most cops take a break when they're grieving. Just saying. I have done my grieving. She's not a cop. I She's a genie, fine. half genie, hero, I just hear like Shante. Not a suggestion, and there's a reason for that. You'll do nobody any favors if you're distracted. I am not distracted. I have never been more focused. Focused on killing. Right. Fine. Forget I said anything. Angel. Are you an angel? Did you expect that to do something or what? Yes. I fail to see. 
sorry, I have I traveled up the mountain of glass to the man who looks down upon high. Based on my face, on my hair, on my but shirt. He sent me away, he gave me a pass. She looks at me and so I'm looking at her. Coffee inside. Your life is your life. Somewhere there is life. I saw a pink dog by the side of the road. <laughs> Rub myself on the watermelon for pleasure. Then I helplessly watched as I saw him explode. What? I may have been dreaming, I think. <laughs> what? The colors, the colors, green, blue, and red. Like this bagel? All mixed up within the same. We should wait until she sits down. She is a little distracted at the moment. <laughs> hey. Do you mind? Can't you see I'm... Wait, Mondana? Is that you? Yes. Wow, it's been a while, huh? <laughs> hey. I am unsure. Do I know you? Um, yeah. Don't you remember Havana, 1592? I must be GI'd. Calliope? That's Calliope me. Mori? Famous all live change. rapper? Yeah, you could say that. I'm gonna sit down. Come join me. We've got, like, a billion things to catch up on. <laughs> Makes sense. That was unexpected. Um, you could have introduced us, you know. <laughs> of course. My apologies. I was distracted. That was Calliope. She is a muse. A muse? muse? Because of course she is. Muses are ancient creatures. They can tap into the creation energy of the universe. Very dangerous when summoned. But Calliope seems different. Changed, not quite herself. I am eager to speak with her again. Does she want this donut? I mean, bagel? I fail to see the purpose of that. <laughs> Can't just go around offering everybody bagels. I still can't believe it. Of all the times, of all the places, you still with the unavowed? Yes, it is good to see you again. Right back at you. You haven't changed a bit. That may be, but you have. Yeah, you could say that. I lost my power. Really? What? Yup. Poof. Gone. I'm not a muse anymore. How did that happen? Some guy took it. Hey, you should order a cappuccino. They draw these little heart shapes with the milk. It's Amazing. <laughs> Fan of this girl so far. I'm Helmet, by the way. Hi, I'm Calliope. Although I mostly go by Callie these days. Uh, so you two know each You're other? Are kidding? Back in Havana, she saved the entire colony. All I did was cut a painting in half. Yeah, a cursed painting. One that I inspired the artist to paint. That was not your fault, Calliope. Tell that to the soldiers who <laughs> went insane true, after Claude. looking at it. The creative force is powerful when used by people who don't understand it. I'm glad I'm done with it. Yeah. What are you doing here? It's open mic night. I'm open micing. Oh. I'm spending all my time taking in the local art scenes. This is my way of giving back. Giving back. Giving back to the creative force. Trying to balance the scales. I'm not really good at it, but the point is to try. And freeform poetry is fun. So long. Bye. Stick around if you want to hear more poems. For some reason, fewer people come here than they used to. So I have the place to myself. I see. Would you like a bagel? Whatever you're doing. <laughs> One day I'll give this bagel to somebody. And they're going to appreciate it. How odd. Calliope seemed so joyful. And that's a problem? <laughs> yeah. She would normally really sad. No problem. It is merely different. She does not act like the Calliope I knew. She acts like the bagel guy? You say that, but it's been my experience that people don't change all that much. A thousand years, though. Perhaps. But still, it is Five good years. to see her again. Ahem. <clears throat> I 
I still think it's crazy you carry a sword of all things. I admit it is not very... modern, but it has served me well for centuries. You never thought of upgrading to something more long range? Only cowards fire from like long range. No, such a weapon is too unpredictable. Not if you know what you're doing. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps one day you can teach me. Sure, but only if you let me swing that sword around. One does not swing it around, but I agree to your terms. It's a date then. Good evening to you. Hey, do you know Callie? Oh, never mind. I have nothing to. You got any more of those raspberry ones, Chipman? Sure, sure. Give me a few minutes. Best donuts in the city, this guy. Wrong to bagel. Evening, folks. Hey. hey. Diego, how's your cousin doing these days? You know her. Always traveling. I'll tell you, said I. Oh, the other person we got, Claude. It seems so natural. We have the cop here. To talk to the other cop. Stay dry out there. What? I mean, what? <laughs> what can I do for you? But, or did we, Claude? Did we? How do we know if we had picked a different team? Maybe other people would be here. Maybe something else. Oh yeah, I forgot we didn't bring the fire guy. Yeah, we did. We brought the fire guy to fight the tree lady. <laughs> the second time. I'm fine. I'm working. What else can a guy want? <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I'm fine. Why does everyone keep... <sighs> Nobody gets it. This is just the way it has to be, okay? Take it or leave it. I see, yeah. Sure. Bye. Bye. Hmm. What's up? Ah. Uh... <laughs> Any thoughts on Callie? Muse or not, she seems on the level. That level is several feet above the clouds, but still on the level. Yeah. My grandpa says that Brooklyn hasn't been worth anything since the Dodgers left for Los Angeles. That happened in 1957. Yeah, well, he's a Santina. He's stubborn. Any ideas on what oh, to do next? Sorry, was thinking about Prospect Park. The entrance is right around here somewhere. The Interprecinct baseball game is always played there. Just reminding myself I won't be part of it this year. Well then. Sure. What say you? You may find it strange. When I think of this neighborhood, I am reminded of cows. Cows. <laughs> I really want, Redison, I really wanted to make a senseless tragedy, a sound alert. <laughs> then I'd have to actually go get or what is this game made in? Actually, I might be able to just rip the file directly. Just get everybody saying a senseless tragedy. A montage of senseless tragedy. Yes. Cows. And sheep. And horses. This area was pasture long ago. Hundreds of acres of it. A dangerous place for a young girl to run and play. My father forbade me to come here. Mm. So naturally, I came whenever I could. Naturally, of course, the war happened. The war. <laughs> the Revolutionary War. Oh. This area was home to the bloodiest battle of them all. Gunpowder smoke from cannons and muskets filled the air. Trenches crisscrossed the land. History says the American forces were driven off, but they do not mention the cows. I miss them terribly. Mm hmm. Well, someone had to be. <laughs> Apologies. I am aware of how cold that sounds. Back then, I was very young, still unsure of my place in the world. I spent most of my time alone, and my childhood playground had become a battleground. 
So, yes, I was concerned about the cows. Let us speak no more of this. I see. That is a difficult question to answer truthfully. I knew her for a time, and we were close for a time. I remember her being distant. <laughs> it was Luke's best bot. And often quite brilliant. I am glad she found happiness. Did she find happiness? Prospect Park is nearby. It has been some time since I was inside. I look forward to seeing it again. I mean, Prospect Park is somewhere yes. around here. So, Mondana, you Jins can really tell if someone is lying? Oh, crosswalk? Ah, yes. okay. Hold on. Nor can we lie ourselves. Must be rough sometimes. Not especially. It forces most gins to become clever with words. What game tells lies about history most anymore? Fun. Not all. Everything in the council Being was real. Clever is overrated. Looking good there, Junie. No, it's not right yet. Uh, is that a Moogle hat? Didn't. Hey, nice to see you. I'm not the only crazy one out here tonight. Um, we just like the rain. <laughs> <laughs> that does make you crazy in my book. Wow, rude. I'm out here because the little boss here wants to draw. I see you. I'm Helmet. Nice to meet you. I'm May Stein. Nice to meet you. Why is she drawing on the rain? Little June here got inspired. What can I say? Mm. Tell her no and she screams all night. So I give her a half hour and we're both happy. Besides, she has a talent. I need to encourage it. Somebody else is gonna. True. She's my daughter. It amounts to the same thing, doesn't it? Basically. Sorry, <laughs> something funny? Apologies. I am envisioning my father calling me boss. It is an amusing thought. And I needed the distraction. Thank you. You're welcome, I guess. <laughs> it's been two hours, I think. So 30 minutes. I'm sure June will get tired any minute. Uh huh. See you around. If yeah. you guys want to do any more chatting in the rain, feel free. Hi there, I'm Helmet. Junie, answer the man. Hi. Too bad KK's not here. What are you drawing? I don't know. It's not finished yet. You sound just like KK. <laughs> I know. That's what makes it good. I took pictures. Don't worry. <sighs> what? Nothing. You don't get it. It's okay. All right. See Bye. you around. Oh, hey, a ghost. Oh, jeez. You have called and I have answered. Oh. I feel no creative desire within your soul. Inspiration will not help you. Hey, Callie. I what? <laughs> nah. Help me? I don't understand. I don't require anything. Now what do you want? Something only you can give. What do you mean? Stay back. Was that? Yes. That was Calliope. It could be no one else. You think so? These visions aren't exactly high def, but it didn't sound like the same lady. I am positive. It was Calliope. The way she used to be. I see. You have recovered? Good. Let us move forward. Seems like ghost guy is required in, like, every area. Can't get around it. How about you jump up there and grab that for me? Let's hop right up. Thank you. 
the leather appears burnt. Yeah. Quite severely. But look, you can still see initials printed on the bottom corner. A F. That's what we in the cop business call a clue. <laughs> What? <laughs> Did you expect that? Hey. Okay. What's up? My instincts say to find a local cop to talk to, but maybe that's just old habits talking. Oh my god. <laughs> sure. <laughs> You're right. Don't you think it's time we head home, Junebug? Five more minutes. Mm, fine. Five more minutes. Y'all are gonna catch cold. Uh, is that this way? Yeah. So I says to him, you're blocking traffic. Go painting somewhere else. Needed three guys to pull him off the street. He finished painting in a cell. And you haven't heard a thing I said. What? You lost your cell? <sighs> no. Mm. Evening, folks. Hey, Vicky. Did they ever get the perp who shot you? It wasn't just me. And no, not yet. God damn. Shooting a cop. They shouldn't get away with that. Oh, they won't. Believe me. Seriously. Where have you been? Some idiot set himself on fire. Oh. Some weird metal altar to do it on, too. The weird thing? He did it in the middle of the night. No witnesses. Some poor oh. child found him the next morning. That's awful. Spooked. You don't know this neighborhood. No, they're fascinated. He's like some kind of local folk hero now. A folk hero? Yeah, the folks who live here, they think it's some kind of, I don't know, artistic statement or whatever. I remember Man in Tree. He me. He was just a nut. <laughs> the guy that stayed in the tree for like 24 hours. And? And it might be related. It's burnt after all. Vicky, you know I can't just take evidence handed to me by a stranger. Do you want to get to the bottom of this or not? <sighs> Give it here. Yeah, it does kind of resemble some of the other pieces of leather we found at the scene. I can get the lab to test it and make sure. And what about those initials? AF. AF? Oh, crap. Not him. Him? Amos frickin' Fennel. I should have known. Who else could it be? I haven't had to arrest him in almost a week. I see, yeah. Yep. One of Brooklyn's finest crazy artists. I arrest him about three times a week. He keeps breaking a restraining order. Who issued it? Well, I guess it's no secret. It was May Stein. Well, then. Ex-boyfriend? Got in and won. If you lived on his block, you'd have seen him on the street, screaming up at a window. The guy's messed up in the head, but that nice lady and her kid shouldn't suffer. I see ya. Sorry, but why are you so interested? The way he told the story. <laughs> you really think so? Thanks. That means a lot. Still can't tell you anything, though. My captain would kill me if I blabbed the sieves. Really, Diego? Since when do you tow the company line? Yeah, I'm keeping my head down these days, Vicky. The captain's got it in for me. You know how it is. Sure, I get it. But imagine his face if you got a positive ID for the guy in the park. That's impossible. The only ID the guy had burnt up with the rest of him. Really? Yeah, driver's license. Burnt to a crispy mess. And that's all you got? That's all we got. I don't know. What else could it be? This friggin' neighborhood. Draws them in like flies and honey. Draws in... what? Artists. They've been coming out of the woodwork, causing all sorts of trouble. Forget the drug dealers. It's the artists you gotta worry about. Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea. Just last week, in this very spot, I had to drag some guy out in cuffs. It was this rider on his laptop. His battery ran out of juice. So he freaked, smashed his laptop against the table, then started punching. Wow. I wish I could say it was an isolated incident, 
but it's been happening all over the neighborhood. I see. Stay dry out there. Ah. Uh. What's this guy think about all this? Good evening to you. You mean the sculpture that was erected in the middle of the night? Magnificent, isn't it? Art that just appears for seemingly no reason. That kind of thing just doesn't happen anymore. Does this old heart good to see it? Ah. I don't know. To tell you the truth, I have not given it much thought. But the energy it brings, the vibrant life. It's the muse. More of that, let me tell you. Uh, the uh, sculpture itself. <laughs> it's the new muse. I heard. Fascinating. Fascinating. That's all you can say? Well, it is. Why there? Why in the middle of the night? The act of immolation is violent, painful. One doesn't do that to themselves unless they want to make a statement. And yet, it was done in the middle of the night. Nobody could see or hear him. So yes, I'd call that fascinating. What was the man trying to say? We'll never know. Hmm. Amos Fennel. Now, doesn't ring a bell. He is the man who set fire to himself in the park. I see. Now, I have not heard of him. Yeah. One fine day. Hey, just a sec. Hello, ma'am. What's up? I found your muse. You did? Hmm. You don't look like the guy I met. He was about your height, had your hair color, and had kind of your build. <laughs> but nope, definitely wasn't you. He is wearing a veil, Calliope. If you cannot see past it, then you really are mundane. Yep, I'm mundane as mud. But if it was really you, then I suppose I have you to thank. Um... For real? You did me a favor. 3,000 years and I never once enjoyed a thing. Dang. Not a song, not a poem, not a story, not even food. I could inspire them all, but they did nothing for me. Blessing and a curse. I can't even remember the last time I smiled. I kind of like the feeling. I think I'm going to do it a lot. So keep my power. You took it. You keep it. I'm happy where I am. I'm, good. I'm proud of you. <laughs> nope. Please stop asking that. Sorry. I saw it. So full of anguish. I could feel the desperation pouring from every rivet and nail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Muse, remember? I can sense these things. I thought you lost your powers. So? If you lost the ability to fight, you'd still know how to fight, right? That is true. Same with me. I know how art works. I know what feelings went into them. And that sculpture? None of those feelings were nice. I see, yeah. That's horrible. What is this feeling? Am I sick or sad, depressed? This is new. I don't like feeling like this. Don't ask me about that again. Yeah. Anything that was created by anybody else, it leaves an imprint. I can still see them. Yeah. Bye. Stick around if you want to hear more poems. Of course. Can you read this scrap of leather? Oh, I can't. Can you read this metal stick? This is from the park sculpture. I'd recognize that sense of desperation anywhere. Please take it away. I don't like feeling that way. See ya. How about this bagel? Ooh. Was this made by Clay Chipman? I've been meaning to go to his shop. May I? Yes. Mmm. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> uh, excuse me. That was strange. This bagel wasn't made by Clay Chipman. Not entirely. What? Are you positive? We watched him bake it. No, his hands made it, but the process, it was inspired by... by me. That's impossible. Uh huh. I did, and I've never met the guy. But that bagel tasted like my own power. I had it for over 3,000 years. It couldn't be anything else. So your power now belongs to Clay Chipman? 
No, muses can't create, remember? He was inspired by someone with my power. Oh well, good luck to whoever it is. I don't want it anyway. Well then. Yup, sucks to be them. <laughs> Bye. Stick around if you want to hear more poems. The mom? I think it's the statue. To talk to the mom. How about I take a picture of this to show your dad? No, it's not right yet. Just five more minutes. Okay, okay, for real this time. Hey. Um. It was some kind of performance art, wasn't it? Someone put together an altar in the middle of the night and then lit themselves on fire. Uh huh. Well, it wasn't real, was it? I, I mean, it couldn't have been. They did it in the middle of the night where no one could see it. If you're gonna make a spectacle, you want people to see it. That's what everyone's saying anyway. Someone put it all together as some kind of statement. Hmm. You know Amos Fennel? No, no, I don't know Amos Fennel. That is an obvious falsehood. You're a liar. Obvious, <laughs> but, but I don't know the guy. Uh-huh. Nobody did, right? It was all staged as some kind of statement. That's what everyone's saying anyway. Uh-huh. You know, before June was born, I might have been able to tell you. But these days, I leave the art critique to the people with more time on their hands. Okay, we're gonna talk right now. Stay right there, kiddo. Mama's gonna talk to these nice people. Did he send you? Did he fucking send you? Look, I know a guy. A guy who breaks legs for a living. Maybe I'll call him instead of the police. Look, miss, I get it. But that won't be necessary. Oh, yeah? Give me one good reason. Because your ex is dead. He won't be bugging you anymore. Of course he is. It was him, wasn't it? The guy who burned himself in the park. I didn't yep. think it was real, but it's exactly like him. <laughs> trying to learn what happened. Well, leave me out of it. The guy scared the hell out of me. I suppose he's gone now. That's good, I guess. Could you tell us what happened? Fine, I guess. It doesn't matter now, does it? Amos used to be a good guy. An artist, creative, really, really funny. June loved him, but then he moved in with us. And then he started getting obsessive. Jesus, this is textbook, isn't it? No, it, it's not what you think. He never laid a finger on us. He started drawing pictures of us. It was sweet at first, but he wouldn't stop. Every scrap of paper, every surface, the walls, the floor, everything. I blamed that teacher of his. A teacher? teacher. Like continuing it? Yeah, old Stan Bates around the block. Amos was fine before he started taking lessons mm. with him. I mean, how crazy is it to draw obsessively and never stop for a break? How long is your kid out here again? A few hours. Why? Oh, look, I don't like that tone. June is fine. She isn't like him. Now, if you'll excuse me. I see. Anything else What's here? Up? What's up? Sure. Trying to leave. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is it? I messed up. Need to start over. Uh oh. Five, <laughs> Five more minutes. minutes. <laughs> then we need to get home. Ah, uh, where are we going? Wait. Is this guy his teacher? Good evening to you. Student? I'm no teacher. Who, who told you this? A former lover of his. A woman named May Stein. Wait, that name sounds familiar. She has a young daughter, a budding little artist type? You are correct. Aha, now I remember. 
Amos, huh? He gave me a different name when he came to see me. See here. What is there to tell? Like many young artists, he was struggling. Trying to this find guy's the muse. So he would come and speak to me. He spoke about his lover, who was quite smitten. I encouraged him to channel that love. We later spoke about his heartbreak after they separated. I encouraged him to channel that as well. I hope I did some good. <laughs> uh... He set himself on fucking fire. He channeled his feelings into a work of art. How many can say the same? I call that a triumph. This neighborhood needs more of that. I see. <laughs> Ah. I know the child. She walks down this block on her way home from school. She's shown me some of her pictures. Quite a budding talent. I'm happy to encourage her. This is the guy. You mean Clay Chipman? I see him every morning. His shop is not exactly out of my way. He feels frustrated often. He desires to say something, but all he knows is baking. But as I always tell him, sometimes the artist doesn't choose the medium. The medium chooses you. I see. Anyone who chooses to speak with me. I'm usually here in this spot. I'm always willing to chat. I see. I'm a what? I see it now. It is obvious in retrospect. What are you talking about? The creative energy that surrounds this neighborhood. It centers around you. Me? I'm nobody. Just a washed up artist. My muse is left. That is only partially true. You do not have a muse. You are a muse. Are you insane? Or am I? <laughs> it's my fault. I want to say a rational one. But since when do I trade in reality? To get away from the truth. I can see the appeal. But perhaps we should discuss this off the street. Yes, of course, please. Come in. You must be soaking. We go in and there's just like blood everywhere. <laughs> well, here we are. Beautiful. Is something the matter? Is this one of those, um, what are we talking about? <laughs> liminal. Is this one of them liminal spaces? <laughs> Where is, uh, where's Blackie? <laughs> Alright, anyways. Uh, your home is rather sparse. <laughs> yeah, Chaos. Chaos's house is covered in cat toys and cat hair. 2016, before Miliardo joined. Is it? I hadn't noticed. I admit, as I've gotten older, I've enjoyed life's little pleasures less and less. I like that there's just What's this the creepy things, music playing. Things that I no longer need. Yes. A muse can inspire art, but cannot appreciate it. I see. I understand. I admit, I have been feeling different. I just thought I was getting old. Leave this in our hands. We will find a way to reverse this. Wait, do you want to cure me? You not want to be cured? You're joking. You really are joking, aren't you? Why would I want to be cured? Sure, I get no pleasure from a painting or a book or even food. But giving artists inspiration, artists like Amos, like June, like Clay, that gives me immense satisfaction. Mm. You inspired Amos to kill himself. The others will surely follow. Your power is out of your control. They just need more meaning than their lives ever will. Ooh. He just years, needs to I've learn. The city turn its collective back on the art community, replacing us with bland corporate chains. Now we can reverse it. Go back to the way things were. And you want to stop it? I don't believe you want that. You can't want that. Let me <laughs> Chaos. prove it to you. No. <laughs> he just needs a teacher. I have a simple question for you. May I ask it? Subliminal? Superliminal? 
You ever seen... I think it's super liminal. <laughs> I'm not answering anything. I, I can't let you go until you answer my question. I'm sorry. I need to prove to you that I can do this. Hey, when did please, please, please. LCT play Super Liminal? Let's see. Where are you? I'm here. I'm part of the creative force. Hello, Inferno Town. Now, please. I've answered your question. Will you answer mine? Hmm. I've connected you to the creative energy of the universe. I think I always knew it was there. But I'm more aware of it now, thanks to you. Now, may I ask you my question? I was going to say, I remember LCC playing something. I think it was like Super People or something. Super something. Super Land, that's the one. I'm here. Now, please. Thank you. My question is simple. What are you feeling right now? I'm feeling uh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. Skeptical. We are emotional beings. You must be feeling something. I have severed my ties from. What are you feeling? Everything. I'm feeling nothing. Angry. Happy. All right, team. One, two, or three. Are we feeling angry, sad, or happy? Angry. Why are we feeling angry, though? <laughs> Angry. Clearly happy. <laughs> I was going to say sad, but we'll go with angry. Yes, yes. you do you seem, seem slightly, slightly tetchy. Could I ask, Could I ask why? why? On second thought, I don't know. I'm just angry. Sometimes you're just angry. Anger always, always comes, comes from somewhere. somewhere. Even if it's a core part of our nature. Anger can be a powerful source of energy, but you need to channel it. You cannot let it control you. You must dig deep, connect with it, bring it to the surface. This is the power of the creative force. This is how we start mur our murder spree. We as humans are given, but it must be used. If ignored, it could do unimaginable harm. Harm. Oh no. What am I doing? <laughs> Where am I? Why did I write this on you? Where am I? What am I? Miranda. Split. Everything is split. Are you the okay? The truth is... The truth is... I do not know. Must I know everything? You all got high on the pain cans. These two worlds cannot connect. So much empty space between them. <laughs> so much. Hey. Uh... Where do I go? Where do I... Where do I go? What in... Uh, Slender Man? Hello? Hello? I'm over here, assholes. They don't see me. Risking my life over and over. I want it. I hate it. I hate myself for it. I'm not a bad person. I'm not. I'm not a bad... I'm not... Well then...
<laughs> what do you think fire guy drew i wonder if kk drew anything you don't understand i almost had it perfect you almost had yourself dead you idiot mm -hmm. get him to let me go please oh it's you you probably shouldn't be in here I think this place is gonna be closed for the foreseeable future. Closed? No. No, you can't do that! Ah, uh, you look exhausted. Do I? It's been a long night. Poor Chipman. Oh, I should have seen it. You know a guy for years. You should know when something's wrong. Nothing was wrong. Everything was so right! You cut open your wrist and you were bleeding into your mixing bowl. <laughs> oh, what? I needed to put more of myself into my work. It was the only way. Oh, what? I, I just don't have an answer to that, Clay. I don't. Um, <laughs> Clay's under arrest. Arrest? Oh, God, no. He's not going to jail. He needs help. Help that I can't give him. So you're sending me to the mental ward? Only for 72 hours. That's what the law will let me do. I thought you were my friend. I am, Clay. I am. Look, you'd better go. Tell Santina I'll call her soon. Uh-huh. Um, let's not go to the muse girl next. Bad things. Jenny, sweetie, you've worn that chalk down to a nub. It's not no, the chalk. Do it. That's her finger. I think it's time we. I can do it. Okay, you can do it. Just be careful. Are these always green? Sorry, this isn't a good time. You okay? <laughs> I no, I I don't know. It's Amos. It's Amos all over again. He infected her somehow christ what are we gonna do june Juni, come on sweetheart leave me alone single-minded intensity be fine. I'm not leaving you on the street. Okay. Hmm. Ma'am? This is from the park sculpture. Please take it. Oh, it's you. Hey. Sorry if I don't get up. I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> You all right? Me? I'm fine. Just a little winded is all. By the way, I'm doing jumping jacks. Madonna and Miss Eagle Eyes. I thought you unavowed types worked in a team. Uh, we got whammied. <laughs> we got whammied by the muse who has your power. <laughs> <laughs> whammied. I like that word. Wait, Same. why did you summon a muse in the first place? Um he forced the creative energy on you? That's insane. You're lucky to be alive. You can't just force someone to create. You have to be ready. If not, you'll burn out. Your friends, where are they? Ah, uh, Stan Bates. A trance? That can't be good. Take me to them. You're a new party member. <laughs> With that sculpture, I just can't. Please. Dang. I was hoping we could take her to the kid. Oh, she's not a like inventory item. Yeah, <laughs> that's the very Madonna. first thing I checked. Madonna. 
I've never seen them use his power abused like this. Stanley Bates has no idea what he's doing. The creative energy, her mind is overflowing with it. She's going to die, and soon. Oh no. No, the painting is a symptom, not the source. She's buried deep, struggling to connect with a deeper part of herself, one that she can express through art. I see, yeah. Art therapy? Kinda sorta, only this is more direct and harmful. The subject has to be willing. They have to be ready to confront whatever is inside. Your friends aren't. And unless we help them with that, they will die. Oh, what? Oh. No, that would be kind of bad. Like, brain explodey bad. You. I'm a bit useless here, but you're kind of not. You unavowed guys, you have a link, right? Something connecting you? You can use that. Try and connect to your friend. See if you can help. I have this metal pipe. This shouldn't be hard. Mandana is in a heightened mental state at the moment. Connecting to her mind won't be hard if you focus. Just touch her on the head and, well, think about her. Okay. <laughs> I'm going in. Your friend is going to be vulnerable, scared, confused. So be gentle. Good luck. Oh. Going in. Oh, hey, it's her mom. Hi, boy. Hi. A bit. Ah, sham that is. Time swallowed me. Got me beat like. Happens mm. to us all like. If you don't be dark wild. Yeah, finally, it's Ruby Hart. <laughs> I can't understand a word you're saying. Danger. Yeah, cheek. Take that back or I'll claim you. Ah, uh, Mandana's a solid she-devil like her mom. She's just a bit banjax like <laughs> What? <laughs> Ain't doing a gatch. I'll tell you that for a sack of poppies. Uh huh. Glad we brought her along. <laughs> I can't understand. Acting the maggot you are. Don't be having a lash off with me. Me baby's getting bait like. Uh huh. <laughs> you think you're sham fiend? I got the young one to see the light. She's just lost her sea legs, like. Just needs a push. I see, ya. Yeah. You think you're sham fiend? I got the she's just... Boy, <clears throat> Thank you. Perhaps you can talk some sense into my daughter? Ah, yes. Good to see me. I'm not actually here. You oh. Know this. I'm not real. <laughs> I see, yeah. A djinn is incapable of lying, even in this place. I know who uh, I am. Ah, I see. I know what I am. It is time Mandana did the same. She merely needs to make a choice. I am sure she will make the right one. I am here to remind my daughter who she is. A djinn of the old kingdom and a servant of the unavowed, like her father. Help! No. This is a choice she must make on her own. All right. I'm sure they never explain, but how do you two, how do you guys think these two ended up together? I think she made a wish to be with this guy. I don't think they fell in love. I think she literally was like, all right, I'm making a wish. You, you and I. Yeah, she found the magic lamp. Rubbed it. He, po he popped out. He pooped out. And she was like, Hey, we're getting married. We're gonna have a kid. <laughs> She's into beards. Help. Farewell. It's canon now. <laughs> I am immortal, like a djinn. I abhor falsehood, like a djinn. I feel love as humans do. I bleed as humans do. Djinn and human. I discard one for the other as it suits me, donning them like costumes. But which one is me? Do I follow my mother or my father? Both. <laughs> Claude, whenever you get around to Friends of Mineral Town, I hope you get the mathematics book. Gems are immortal. Why can't you follow both? Because it gives me pain, torn between two worlds. 
the uncertainty of two worlds long. as it one hurts one world one family it does not matter I boy then father you seem human mm hmm I don't know I feel like the first option that I picked that was apparently wrong was the right option. Yes, I seem human. I have thoughts and emotions that seem human. I have shared laughter with human friends, gained knowledge from human teachers, shared hearts with human lovers. They all grow old. <laughs> they all die. None of them understand. Even mother, Game has been mind blowing for you, Claude. Be one of them, not entirely. There will always be distance. I cannot stomach the presence of other jinn. So cold, so calculating, so proud of their wordplay. The other jinn children would tell riddles. I would escape into the forest to run and jump, alone. Father tried to understand. He tried to help. But he could not. How could he? I'll get back it to you on that. It does not matter. Ah, <laughs> uh, you see? Aye, boy. Distance. That's an awful thing to say, like. She'd not know the arson of a blade if it weren't for me. I see, yeah. Boy, then. Father. Or mother. Yes. Mother taught me how to fight. Just like her. Although, if I am honest, I was better than her. Not that I would have shown <laughs> wow. in front of her crew. She would have gone mad as a box of frogs. It does not matter. Does not matter. Perhaps you can talk some sense into my daughter. She is torn between two worlds. I understand this. Her human side made her less prone to introspection. Made her impatient, hot-headed. Her spiritual side enhanced her physical body, making her quicker, stronger. Together, it was a lethal combination. So it was up to me to channel her, hone her into a force for good instead of destruction. I did the best I could. What father could do more? I see. Farewell. Farewell. Father or mother, to which world do I belong? Yes, father always told me such. Being part human, I cared too deeply. I needed direction. Father and the unavowed provided that. Something new? Whatever do you mean? Both sides are what make you who you are. Everyone's their own individual. Could it be without both sides, human and jinn, I would not be myself. If I were not human, I would not care enough to join the fight. But if I were not jinn, I would not be strong enough to fight in the first place. Not in any way that matters. I am both, and yet neither. Something new. <laughs> Everyone is their own perfect confectioner. Something new from both worlds. What happened? Where is Stan Bates? He whammied you. <laughs> he whammied. Doesn't matter. Are you okay? <laughs> I feel good. Exhausted. But good. I think I need to sit down. Just for a few minutes. <laughs> She's dead. Hey, what can you do with this metal rod? Father. Come on, they need our help. Mm-hmm. Hey. I see you're alone here. Hello? Hello? You guys, I'm over here. Jesus Christ, hello? Are you fucking deaf? Um, who are you yelling at? Them. Those people over there? Oh. You, you see them, right? No. Nope. Or, or maybe they don't <laughs> see me, but they never do, do they? I don't see... Are you feeling... <laughs> so they were never there in the first place. I knew it. Nobody cares. 
But I knew that, right? That's the deal. That's part of being a cop. I knew that growing up. It's part of being a Santina. It's just so goddamn lonely sometimes, you know? But think of your friends. Whatever's bothering you, you need to spit it out. It's stupid. So, so stupid. Twelve years I gave to the batch. I was never thanked. Not once. But that's mm -hmm. the job. That's what you sign up for. But I still want it. Some fucking recognition. I shouldn't need this. I shouldn't want this. Mm. Bartender, the heart wants what the heart wants. My heart was behind the badge. It didn't get a say in the matter. Cops locked that shit down. I don't have to shut out your feelings. Yeah, I know I'm not a cop anymore. So what the hell am I? Ah. Uh... I know that. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad. Happy even. But it doesn't matter. I still want a parade. Why? I don't want to be appreciated. I want, I want, I want fireworks. I want the key to the city. I want to be a <laughs> hero. That's stupid. That's crazy. It's some teenage fantasy, but it is what it is. I will never understand police officers. Bullshit. I'm just me. Sure, I risk my ass every day, pound the pavement, or take a bullet so some schmo won't have to, but... Jesus, listen to me. I am a hero. No, I fight monsters. I'm a fucking superhero. <laughs> and that's how she woke up. Yeah, and nobody knows but me. Ugh, what the? You made it back. Huh? Hey. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty dumb. You're right. I thought I heard you up here. What happened? I was just asking the same thing. Uh, Fire Mage's kids. I was actually thinking about the uh, the other guy and getting to uh, talk to his brother <laughs> or whoever else showed up for like maybe the bartender and the brother who we killed in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, it's a long story. Stan Bates hit you both with a creative force. It almost killed you. See? Not such a long story. Creative energy. <laughs> I feel like I'm hungover. But it was worth it, wouldn't you say? No. Do you see it now? Do you see what I can offer? This whole neighborhood. The whole world. <laughs> You're out of control, Stan. <laughs> That's why he seems so familiar. <laughs> Ah, uh, thank you. I've been trying to figure that out this whole time. No, I know precisely what I'm doing. I get it now. You and your friends, you just received a deep, clear understanding of your deepest selves. You're swinging the creative force around like a sledgehammer. You could have killed them. Nothing great is achieved without risk. Oh my God, my power's in the hands of a total idiot. Seriously, <laughs> you all need to kill him. Kill him now before he kills someone else. I beg Whoa. You heard me. Ah. <laughs> uh, he needs to be punished, but... We do not have the resources to restrain a muse. Pragmatism is called for here. As far as I'm concerned, he's got a deadly weapon and is willing to use it. This is insanity. Don't I have a say in this? I've been given this tremendous gift, and you don't want it to be used. I don't understand. No, duh, you don't understand. That's the problem. If I used my gift improperly, then I'm sorry. I can learn. It's too late for that. So, how is this going to go? Hmm, you remember earlier when I said he just needs a teacher? That's what I'm going for. <laughs> No, I can't. You are not lying, are you? Nope. I'm not so old that I can't be taught. I'm not being cute. I really can't. Creative energy runs on instinct, emotion, feelings. Can't teach that. You must have learned somehow, didn't you? 
I was given the power at a young age. I grew up with it. You didn't. So, I'm sorry. I can't be done. Mm. What do you have to say, Stan? Until today, I didn't even know I had this power, let alone that I was killing people. Perhaps forcing it on you three was wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't know what I was doing. And how many are going to die before you figure it out? I... I will try not to let that happen. Let me live, and I'll try. That I promise you. See? Answer the fucking question. The truth, Stan Bates. And no lies. I meant what I said. I will try not to let that happen again. Mm. Yeah, good thing we got Cheney, girl. I'm thinking top or bottom. Trust him. See, I don't want to give the power back to her. So I don't want to pick the top one. But I am interested. I, um, man, she's a gen. She is a genie guy from Whole Cake Island. All right, I'm going with this one. This is going to make Muse Girl mad, though. Trust is one thing. Blind faith is another. You are a danger, Stan Bates. This much is certain. My friend chooses to trust you. Abuse that trust, and it will end badly for you. You need a license to carry a deadly weapon in this city, you know. But for some reason, I don't think Muse Powers is on the application form. Ugh. I don't like this, but I'll go along. You're just going to stand back and leave him like this? I... You know what? I don't even care. I'm a mundane human now. This is none of my business. Good luck, Stan Bates. You're gonna need it. Can't even watch over him. <laughs> I got an achievement. Muse refused. Okay, Helmet, time to wake up. A few more minutes getting hurt. <laughs> Everyone's waiting for you. Let's go. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Why am I walking? Stop walking. <laughs> <sighs> More rain. Too bad I can't do anything about that yet. Is that our character's face? What's going on? Good. <laughs> uh, not good. Did I oversleep? Sorry about that. It is no matter. I used the extra time for training. I was gonna say, it's good to see you back at it. It feels good as well. The routine helps. <laughs> You're not talking to Helmet. Is Eli downstairs? I thought I'd check in on him. He is rarely anywhere else. Okay, I'll leave you to your training. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> same, Claude, same. Hey, Eli. Oh, hey, just a sec. What's up? I'm possessed again. Just wanted to check in before we head out again. Everything okay? Yeah, uh, sure. I'm still processing everything from last night. You weren't even he there. Stand with his powers like that? I just hope he figures it out before someone else dies. It's a complicated question, isn't it? <laughs> Killing someone in cold blood is not how we do things, is it? Yeah, you're right. I can think of worse policies to have.
<laughs> Help. <clears throat> Something wrong? Nothing. Sorry. Just a headache. It's nothing. How about you head upstairs? Yeah. Sure. See you there. You guys gonna figure us out? I'll save us. Listen, you. I fought tooth and nail to get back into this body, and I'm not giving it up again now. So you stay calm, and you stay quiet, until I figure out how to shut you up for good. Ooh. Not everything. Not by a long shot. So, just relax, would you? I can't focus with you jabbering away in my head. <laughs> <sighs> Doesn't matter. You'll go to sleep in time, just like you did before. I'll just have to ignore you until then. Hey, you all right? You're looking a little intense there. Uh-huh. Me? Sorry, I was just reading that poster over there. You mean the ad for Wellard Beer? That's the one. Sammy told me never to order any liquor that was advertised on the subway. Can't even pick our team uh, yet. Good advice. She always did have the good stuff. Do you, uh, ever miss the place? Sometimes. It's a little hard to think about. Yeah, I get you. Sorry, I shouldn't be thinking about the past so much. It happens to all of us. Don't worry. We all face an uncertain future. Retreating to the past can be... Beard inversion? Question mark? For some of us, maybe. But I know what you mean. You mean second person point of view? Eli. Never give, excuse me, never give up. Turn across. Need to talk to uh, KK, she's a ghost. Huh? No, I didn't say anything. Wait, I knew Something it. Something wrong? KK can see KK us. says someone's calling your name. She is. Me. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not saying your name. Oh, is this our stop? <laughs> What's wrong? What? He's possessed again. What? what? <laughs> <sighs> I knew it. You know, I really thought I could make it work this time. What? Jesus, what hit me? <clears throat> oh, crap. Guys, wake up. We get to play as the team now. Where are we going? We have to get the Hydra hard. They all switch bodies. One Piece style. Dunno. Been running through these old maintenance tunnels at random. If I don't know where we're going, then nobody else will either. Are we there yet? Find an exit eventually. Then I'll plan my next move. Hmm. What is your plan? Figure out what to do with you to start with. Really, you're nothing but trouble. I'm trouble. I guess technically that's true, but how was I supposed to know it would lead to this? <laughs> Run away. Do it on your own. Run away while you can. Write a show. You really don't know. Do you? Jesus, how messed up is this? You really don't, Jesus. It's been running for hours. I've had longer shifts at the bar. I can handle this. Also, regenerative magic. That helps too. Mm. Don't be so sure. It took him a year to find me the last time, and that's only because I screwed up. You screwed up. They took so long to find me. I didn't even notice them on my tail until it was too late. 
I got cocky. What can I say? I'm only human. I'm only human. <laughs> yeah, very clever. Wait, you're not kidding, are you? <laughs> My God, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Just the irony. You wouldn't get it. Uh oh. Hi. Hello. Oh, it's you. <laughs> You're in for it now. Oh my god, shut up! Yeah, my kids used to say that when I told them to clean their room. Guess how well it turned out for them. Here's a hint. Not as bad as it'll turn out for you. How the hell did you find me down here? Oh, that? I've got your energy signature, remember? From the ritual knife? The what? Forgot about that, did you? We couldn't find you before, because we could only track the version of you that possessed that body. So, you know, thanks. You actually made our jobs much easier. Easier, huh? Oh, no. I know where your power comes from, Fire Mage. I know how it works. You think I can't hold my own against you. <laughs> These subtitles. No, I wouldn't dream of it. I'm just a distraction. Huh? <laughs> this is how they got him before. <laughs> Works every time. I hope we're on the roof again. One year and one week ago. <laughs> this is exactly how it happened last time. Uh. Yeah, I'm sure they, given how much like rewriting and stuff they've had, I'm not, it's, it was bound to happen eventually. Anyways, I have to use the restroom. And there's an ad starting soon, so be right back. Enjoy ad break. I'm back. Also, seventh, like the number is not in the answer. <clears throat> uh, but anyways, yeah. Every, I mean, every single game with voice acting in it, every single game with voice acting in it has the same problem where at some point in time, the VA doesn't match up with the words. That's just how it is. Even in uh, like movies, anime, etc., TV shows, they mess up eventually. You learn so much about Horizon Forbidden West. What? Anyways, let's keep going. So this was one year ago. One year, six weeks ago. Oh, from the ad. Ah. Uh, I learned about Wendy's. I didn't watch an ad.
What's the question? Paper Mario. Name the area just the south of Post Office in Toad Town. The Flower Garden. Alright. One year and ten days ago. We never went to Wall Street. Do you guys think we'll ever go to Wall Street? I don't think we'll ever go to Wall Street, honestly. I think the game is about to end. I think we're getting close to it. Hey, wait. Hey, Logan. Uh, hey, long time no see. Logan, what are you doing here? I shouldn't be here. I know, but I need your help. He's my brother. You remember Jonah? This is how the game started off. There. He's bad. Better than me on my worst day. Your boss called me to take him home, but... I understand. I'll get him out. Thanks. Really. I thought I could go in myself, but I don't think I can. The first thing they tell you is not to enter a gin joint if you can avoid it. Mm. I've gone four years. I can't... No, this was a flashback. It literally said flashback. I'll go in with you. No. I told you. I can't go in there. Please? Just talk to him, okay? There was no VA at the beginning of this. You know him better than I do. I mean, for my, I, the main character. Boss him out here. I don't think she likes me too much these days. Reporting for duty, boss. Right. I'm the boss. I'm important. I'm supposed to be in control. <sighs> Fuck this. After tonight, I'm done. I quit. At Levin. What's wrong? Oh. It's Jonah. You know Jonah, right? He's lost it. In my bar. I can't get him out. I thought Logan was a mean trunk, but Jonah? He's worse. He came in here all twitchy and looking scared. He asked for a whiskey and I gave it to him. Oh, uh, something then else I should know. crying. Then he started If it gives me the chance. Now he's locked himself in the damn bathroom. So what now? <sighs> I don't know. To tell you the truth, Jonah scares me. But maybe. Look, maybe you can get him out of there. He's always listened to you. I'm his bartender. I'm good at that. You better be, after all I taught you. Now we get to see how good you really are. Mm. Look, just get him out the door. You can scream at the rats in the park for all I care. I'll just wait here. So, uh, something I do know... Uh, about the choices you make in this game. I got an achievement for finishing the bartender intro when we first did, when we first started this game. So I assume that also this could be different if we, if the intros are different. I don't know if there's different intros, whether you pick actor or whatever the third one was. We'll find out whenever I finish and I'll restart and we'll kind of skim through a bit. But. It definitely seems... Oh, police officer. Yeah, it, I, this could be different for all I know. We could get a different scene here depending on... For all I know, I mean... Who knows? It's been interesting. Oh. The key? Yeah, I guess that'll work. You're losing it, Sammy. Don't look at me like that. You want the truth? I didn't use the key because Jonah's scaring the hell out of me. Mm. I was gonna give the key to Logan, but he's a no-show. Guess he'll have to do. He's outside. Can I just leave? <laughs> Not yet. I've got to finish what I came here to do. Is this where we find I out we try talking to him before I barge in. I wonder if we're possessed by the demon now, or if we're about to find out that we weren't possessed by the demon until afterwards. Go away, Sammy. It's not Sammy, Jonah. You, what did you do to me? Me? What are you talking about? Uh-huh. You said it would help. It just made everything worse. Calm down, Jonah. Open the door. No, I'm going to end it all right here, right now. What? No, don't do that yet. Yet? Jesus, you know what I mean. Just let me in. Fuck you. We were possessed the Jonah. whole time. Jonah. What did I tell you? Yeah, he's lost it. No kidding. Hey, look. I'll deal with Jonah. It's my bar. I should handle it. No, it's okay. I got this. You sure? Yeah, I know Jonah. I can talk him into anything. Yeah, I bet you can. 
Aha. Uh -huh. I locked that door for a reason. Ah, oh, for God's sake, Jonah, really? This is how you deal with your problems. By blowing your brains out. In front of your spirit guy, too? What would she think? You... you can't see them, can you? This room is full of ghosts. Called by this book. She can barely see me or you. Whatever happens here, she won't even know. Funny. That's kind of what I wanted. Her not to be watching me all the time. Guess I got my wish, huh? Yeah, ironic. Sorry I was so nasty to you. I know you tried to help, but I can't live like this. You get that, right? Sure, Jonah. I get it. Could you do it? I, I can't. I I've been trying, but I can't. Sure, Jonah. Thank you. Maybe I should take that book, too? Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Oh, God. This is it. Just make it quick. And tell Logan I'm sorry. You did good, Jonah. You primed the pump nicely. Huh? The pump, Jonah. Some low-level magic to get things started. That and some good old-fashioned blood sacrifice. What do you mean? God, you were always stupid. Mm. Oh, great Melchorissa, spirit of knowledge, come to me. I give to you this body as your refuge in this world. Wait, did I summon? Oh my god. <laughs> Whew, that's a rush. What the hell happened? Was that a gunshot? Oh, shut up, Sammy. <laughs> oh my god, Claude. We were evil all along. What's going on? Oh, hello. Melchorissa, isn't it? Welcome to my brain, I guess. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. <laughs> we were the demon the whole time. My name is Mel Koresh. Yeah, the book warned me that might happen. You share your knowledge with me, and I share my memories with you. Humans are the like real monsters. You have data, but you don't know how to think. I can do that for you. Speaking of, is there really a dryad trapped in the North Woods? Amazing. Is something wrong? There's blood on my hands. Oh, don't worry about them. They had it coming. I did this. This is awful. You didn't do anything. Just feels like you did because we're sharing memories. Besides, you're an incorporeal spirit with no mind of your own. Why do you even care? I they were innocent. Okay, look. Send me back to the darkness. No, I am in control here, not you. You can rewrite memories, can't you? Yeah, you can. I can see it. Remember this night however you want to. Whatever makes you live with yourself. As for me, I have business to take care of outside. Oh my god, the twist. May you be snatched away from this place. Let go of me! You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. The hands you control will no longer do your bidding. In the name of myself, my witness, and the soul whom you hold captive, I cast you out! Now, KK. Turn it on now. No, KK. Did... did we get it? Oh, yeah. We got it. We friggin' got it. Watch so, out! No, watch out! How do you... feel? You're about to get stabbed. Yeah. Are you... You? Watch out! Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm not me, I never was. What the hell does that mean? Um, guys? Are demons supposed to look... human? What do you mean? This demon, it looks like... I... Ah. <laughs> uh... Well, yeah. It looks like you. What? What? Yeah, 
Care to tell us why? Come on. We could always count on you to be honest at the bar. Can't you be honest with us now? I, um, hmm, like the second option, I think. And a train comes. I was thinking about that, too, except there's all this stuff on the tracks. You're Melcaressa? But that means... That, that means, means you exorcised, exorcised the wrong spirit. spirit. Twice. Twice. Morons. You're not the demon? He gets, gets it. it. I'd clap, clap, but... You know. Yeah, no, no. But how? It shouldn't be possible to exorcise a human soul. You fry it. Lucky for me that you suck at this. <laughs> you be quiet. Eli. How come you can hear him? that exorcism spell. They do not actually specify demon, do they? No. It's broader than that. The exact words were... Wicked spirit. Oh my god. Yeah, well, I always was good at pretending. Even at that damn bar, I did nothing but pretend. Nodding while some corporate drone got shit-faced and complained about his- Come, we can hear him. <laughs> Hearing about every breakup, every hookup, every goddamn sob story. I nod and pretend I understood. Hell, even complete teetotalers thought I was a great bartender. What are you talking about? Oh, hey, Logan. You should have seen the look on your brother's face when I shot him. What? He died as he lived, with a drunken, stupid look on his face. You're... you're crazy. No. This is who I am. This is who I always have been. When I got my body back, I thought I could pretend again. Get back, get back to, to living a normal, normal life. life. But that's, but that's not, not possible, possible, is it? And maybe, maybe that's a good, good thing. thing. I'm, I'm so, so sick, sick of pretending. pretending. Oh, God, shut up already. Logan, <laughs> can you and the kid zap him into the afterlife or something? Um, I don't think so. He's not actually dead, is he? What do you, what do you think, think I am, I am? Some, some helpless, helpless ghost? ghost? I, have I have learned a lot, lot from you, Melchrisa. I still, I still, still have, have power, power at my disposal. disposal. Body, body or no body. See you soon. See you soon. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> sure is chaos. Oh, you're up. <laughs> were you watching me? We were taking turns watching you. Yeah, uh -huh. Just in case. I would do the same thing. Yeah, had to be done. Listen to you. You sound like, well, like you. I don't know what to think. I just don't. I remember when that picture was taken. Do you remember anything about that night? Nope. Yeah, we were all so proud of him. But my point is, we were happy that night. You guys were like family. You, that other you, was my friend. But he wasn't. He hated me. Hated Jonah. Hated everything. I just gotta know. Why? Who's here you if you're an actor? Somewhere in that head of his. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking the same thing, Claude. Wendy, maybe? I wonder if Wendy is actually uh, important to the plot if you were an actor. See, mm, I don't want to be helmet. Okay, that's all I needed to hear. See you downstairs. Bye. Is that why I could go between worlds? We were always a friendly demon. 
And when we've met this whole... So the other thing is... Everyone... We've always been good and nice to all the spirits. So there's also the possibility... I mean, I'm sure this is kind of a stretch. But it's also possible that we're only good... Because we were good to everyone that we've seen in our journey so far. There's also that possibility. It's the, reading up on this game when we get done is going to be very disappointing, I feel like, but also really interesting. Yeah, it'll be interesting to find out. I'm sure more often than not I'll be really disappointed, but there's so many... It's it's real it's really curious at this point. Yeah, chaos. I can't go downstairs. It's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't sound right, but maybe it's for the best. Hey, he's here. Uh you better get over here. Yes. We have come to a decision. Am I being exercised? Again? I'm an abomination. <laughs> Let me guess. You're firing me. Jesus, don't be so overdramatic. Indeed. We were only discussing the trains. Yeah. The F train is down, so we're going to have to take the 6 and then transfer. It's the only way to get down to Wall Street. Oh, we're still going to Wall Especially Street. at this hour. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Ah. It is as we said. No more and no less. Look, so you're not who you thought you were. From what we just learned, that's a good thing. My old bartender's out there doing God knows what. You're here trying to take him down. In terms of the big picture, nothing has changed. Our goal remains the same. Assuming you are still with us. <laughs> the friendly demon of Wall Street. A wild wolf population. I see. Ah, uh, helmet needs to be stopped. That's what we like to hear. So, what should we call you? So, okay, hold on. The we other thing is... You by the, same name. the other thing is, one of the first choices I made, Claude, this is way out there. This is probably a real big s stretch. The very first choice I made was it asked me who I was, and I said, I'm I'm a demon. Remember when we got to pick our uh gender or whatever? <laughs> and I made, it was like male, female, and demon, and I picked demon. That's another thing. Like I said, there's so many things I'm really curious about, and I'm sure when I look it all up, I'll be really disappointed. But there's... there's so much. It, it, it's potential, Chaos. The potential is there. Yeah. Could just be a complete house of mirrors. Do we want to choose a new name? My new name is Helmet 2. <laughs> Earn that. <laughs> Very well. It will be an adjustment, but we will abide by your choice. Uh, very true, Chaos. They've done a really good job. I'm going to go give them an upvote when I finish this game, unless the ending's terrible. In which case, I'll give them a downvote. <laughs> then write a review. What exactly am I? Does it even matter? You are if you want to be. That's really all there is to it. Yeah, very true. Whatever. Does it really matter? We're ready to go when you are. Anytime you're ready. Hey, we're ready when you are. Yes. Yes. Any thoughts on my last mission? For what it is worth, Stan Bates spoke the truth. He does not intend to cause any more harm. Mm -hmm. But convictions mean little without the action to back them up. Thus far, Stan Bates has been lacking in that regard. I can only hope he proves otherwise. Yeah. 
Did we start a meeting? A meeting is not necessary. We know our mission. We know our destination. When you are ready to proceed to the subway, we will follow. There's so many things we're like. We've been given so many options. But also, do any of them really matter? Thank you. Ben said earlier about never know, never hearing about this game and point and click games being really niche. I, I mentioned this uh, at some point in this playthrough, I'm sure. I don't remember if this game was given to me or just suggested to me, but like, I, I do know that going into this, I was told it was really good, but I don't, I did, I don't remember how or why or what else was said. And I always take that with a grain of salt because, I mean, Blackie told me that uh, Young Merlin was really good and that game was terrible. But it's been interesting. It's been quite the journey. We getting out there or what? We gotta keep going. Or alternately, we save it for next week. <laughs> We're on question 90 in trivia. And I really would like to spend some time after I finish the game uh, messing around at least a little bit. I'm really inclined to stop here. I'd like to see what happens and I really want to know things about this game. But I also don't want to rush myself through things at this point. Grand Adventures of Burn, uh, Daddy. <laughs> nice. There's an A. It's too late now. It says... How do I rename this? There we go. <clears throat> Anyways, so yeah, we'll go ahead and stop here. Thank you all for joining me in the grand adventures of Helmet, and then Bernadette with an E, and then Bernadette with an A. <laughs> this has been a wild ride, and like I said, I'm really looking forward to finding out afterwards, and also being really disappointed. My expectations are really low, so that probably will help. <laughs> but there's a lot of things that have been questionable throughout the journey.